What's, what's depicted right here? Who are they? Who are those people right there? So-called so-called Native Americans right there. Who are they? Conquerors, conquistadors. So-called white man, or Idumia, according to the Bible, or Edom. These are the Israelites right here. So just like the officer showing you, the same thing that happened to us in slavery, guess what? Guess what happened when the conquistadors came on side of this on side of this world? Bring it out. They put out they put our forefathers our care for. They put them in slavery. And you know what else they did? Christopher Columbus kept coming back and forth from Spain. You know what they did? They started putting what? The northern kingdom of Israel, the so-called Native Americans, on slave ships and sending them to Europe. Right. When it comes to Gad, the Native Americans, yes, a lot of them are in Europe. Why? Because they put them on slave ships too. I'm also show you something. Give me Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 8. You can put that down real quick. Because understand this, you know when they took us from the west coast of Africa and put us on those slave ships and brought us over here? Understand that you had so-called Puerto Ricans today and so-called Cubans on those same boats. Right. Understand this thing. When God sent the Assyrians, this is history, this is biblical history. All right. So when God said, hold on one sec, brother, I'm teaching. I'm, brother, brother, calm yourself. We in the scriptures. Calm yourself. One sec. We're going to deal with all y'all. That's why we out here to educate our people. That's right. Believe it or not, we study this Bible. We know the historical facts that line up with the scriptures. Right. All right. So we're here to teach. All right. Watch this. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 8. The reason why I'm going here is because there was a split in the kingdom of Israel. Right. The split was between the northern and the southern. The northern was Ephraim on down. And the southern was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. But I'm going to show you something in the scriptures that a lot of people don't know. All right? So it's not just the, Jew, uh, the American blacks, West Indies, Haitians that was taken from the West Coast. No. You had some Ephraimites, some Manessites, which are the Puerto Ricans and Cubans today. And I'm going to show you that. Second Chronicles 15, 8. Watch this. Second Chronicles chapter 15 and verse 8. Come on. And when Asa heard these words and the prophecy of Odette, the prophet, he took courage and put away the abominable idols out of the land of Judah. And because a lot of our people, guess what? They started serving idols in the land of Israel. Believe it or not, when you hear Israel today, you think about those Caucasian people, right? With them black hats and that curly hair and them tassels. You think about white people, but that's our homeland. We were taken from our homeland. That's why we out here to do what? To connect the dots and teach you your true history. Now watch this, y'all. Got a question for Hold on one second. I'm just reading scriptures. I'm gonna deal with your question. Come on. Out of all the land of Judah Come on. and Benjamin, uh -huh. and out of the cities. It said out of all the land of Judah. Read that again. And Benjamin, and out of the cities. So can you read Judah for me, please? Read that again, please. Watch this. Out of all the land of Judah and Benjamin, and out of the cities. So what is that city called in that time? It was called the land of Jerusalem or right. Judah. Who lived there? The so-called American blacks, West Indians, and Haitians. They're the ones who lived there. Now we're going to show you who also migrated down as well. Watch this. Which he had taken from the Mount of Ephraim. And from the Mount of what? From the Mount of Ephraim. From the Mount of Ephraim. Who is Ephraim today? Who does that say right there? Puerto Ricans. Watch this. Read it again. From the Mount of Ephraim. Read and renewed the altar of the Lord. Come on. That was before the porch of the Lord. Read on. Come and on. he gathered all Judah. All who? All Judah. He gathered all Judah, which are the American blacks. Read. And Benjamin. And Benjamin. Come on. And these strangers with them out of Ephraim. Out of Ephraim. So he gathered Judah, Benjamin, Levi were the priests, and he gathered the Puerto Ricans. Go ahead. And Manasseh. And Manasseh, which are the Cubans. Go ahead. And out of Simeon. And out of Simeon, which are the so-called Dominicans today. Go ahead. For they found to him out of Israel an abundance when they saw the Lord his God was with him. Meaning what? The northern kingdom of Israel, which was Ephraim or down, they started worshiping idols. Give me Hosea 4 and 17. Yep. All of the northern kingdoms did not want to start worshiping idols. They wanted to worship the one true God. So what did they do? They left from Samaria and went down to Jerusalem. Meaning what? We had Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon. Meaning what? They were living amongst each other, according to the scriptures. Watch this. Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 17. There you go. Ephraim is joined to idols. It says Ephraim was, the, was joined unto who? Idols. Watch this. Let him alone. So God said, leave them alone because they weren't serving the one true God. 
And guess what? A lot of those Ephraimites, Manessites, Simeonites, they agreed. And they migrated to the land of Judah. Okay? Now, Joel 3. Did y'all know that the transatlantic slave trade was in the Bible, documented in the Bible? Bring it out. Yeah. What, what, would you, what would you say, sis? You know the transatlantic slave trade, how we got over here? You think that's in the Bible? You say no? What about you, sis? What about you, boss? You say you're not sure? It might, it might, it might, it might be. You my say... My, my third eye is wide open, so that's yeah. why I say... Huh? He was already saying he was already going into that, yeah. all right? So we're going to capture that. But I want you to understand, when the transatlantic slave trade, right here, hold this up, the middle passage, when this took place as well. Right. You understand that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm fall again. Yeah. All right, now, hold that, give me Luke 21. I'm going to show you, because Israel's right here geographically. All right, this is the continent of Africa. North Africa's Egypt. Right here is the land of Israel. Now I'm going to show you how we migrated to the west coast of Africa in the Bible. That's what I'm going to show y'all right now. Watch this. Luke 21 and 24. Luke chapter 21 and verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. It says, start at verse uh, 21 as well. So it says, we shall fall by the edge of the sword. Meaning, this was a prophecy of the Romans. In 70 A.D. Bring it out. Have you ever heard of what happened? The sack of Jerusalem, 70 A.D.? You ever heard of that before? All right, so this is what you do. After today, you go look it up. All right, this is when uh, Titus and Vespucian sacked Jerusalem. Okay, they surrounded us, cut up our food supply, and took some of us as slaves, and some of us fled into Africa. Okay, read verse 21. Watch this. Luke, chapter 21 and verse 21. Go ahead. Then let them, which are... Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. Flee into the mountains. This is Christ, Jesus the Christ, giving us instructions on what to do when the Romans came to sack Jerusalem. That's the right. mountains that he's talking about are the mountains of Africa. You know? The same mountains that baby Jesus, his father Joseph and Mary, when you read the book of Matthew chapter 2, those are the same, that's the same place they fled to. Now let me ask y'all a question. They say, they say Jesus is white, right? So tell me this, how in the world could Jesus be white and flee to Africa where there's a bunch of black people? No. How he gonna blend in? Is that possible? That's not possible. Showing you what? Obviously, they've been lying to us. That's right. Obviously, Christ looked dark skin just like that so he could blend in with them, right? Right. Now read that again for me. Watch this. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. Flee into Africa, read. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. Depart out. And that's exactly what we did. 70 AD. Whoa. When the Romans, the white people, the Caucasians, when they came against us, they killed us, took some of us as slaves, and then we fled into Africa. You know? Years later, guess what happened? The Hamites, which are Africans, made treaties, made deals with the European nations right. to do what? Sell us for things like natural resources and guns. That's what they did. And that's how the Middle Passage took place. Now give me, drop that, give me Deuteronomy 28, 64 to 68. Make it very, very simple, then uh, I'll deal with your question. What's going on, boss, man? All right, read this. Deuteronomy 28, 64. Watch this, y'all. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 64. Watch this. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. God said he would scatter the Israelites, you and me. Sis, you and me, us. We the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. God said he would scatter us where? Among all people. Among all people. So check this out. Y'all ever uh, seen like Dominicans, like on TV, the boys that play baseball, they dark just like you and me, you know? but they got last names like Rodriguez and stuff. You know? You're like, damn, well, but that don't make no sense. Why he dark? Because we the same people. Yeah. That's right. Some of us was dropped in South America, Brazil. Some of us was dropped in the Caribbean. Some of us was dropped in America. And like I told you earlier, guess what? They was taking a lot of us on slave ships to Europe. Right. You go to UK, you go to London, you go there. Guess what? You gonna see us in the hoods and the ghettos over there too. That's right. Why? Because the Bible's a true book. Read that again. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Among all people, meaning what? Throughout the four corners, we still there. And guess what? I've been to Ghana. I've been to the slave castle, the point of no return. Guess what? A lot of our people are still in Africa today. Right. That's right. They didn't take all of us. There's a remnant of our folks, our ancestors still in Africa right now. Read that again. 
And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth. To the one end of the earth, read. Even unto the other. Even unto the other. Go ahead. And there shalt thou serve other gods. And then it say, when we get to these lands, we shall serve other gods. What's that right there? What's this? That's another God, right? right. You think our forefathers was worshiping a white man back then? Yeah. Hell no. No, we worship the God that looked just like us. That's right. God got hair like you. That's His right. son got hair like you. Right. And guess what? We the people of the Most High God. Understand that thing. Us, we the chosen people, not them. They the imposters. I'm going to tell you a little historical fact about this dude right here. His name is Caesar Bolgier. He is the son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. Right. And guess what? He was a thief and a homosexual. And they got the nerve to pose him and put his picture up as Jesus the Christ. According to the Bible, King Jesus James, Christ is King a James black a man. King, King James, James was a black man. He was a no, king too. That's right. Now check this out. King James check this out. Bad, the, the New Give me bad, the book of Revelation chapter 13 the verse 10. New was he doesn't believe in the Bible. He, he don't believe in if the I, Bible. If I'm lying, tell that, me I'm why lying. are you trying to talk? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm going to show am you. Am I not speaking facts? You're not speaking the Bible. Revelation chapter 13 verse 10. Who want to hear the Bible? Because I'm going to read some of but it real you're not, quick. You're not, you read Revelation the chapter Bible. 13, you verse 10. Watch this. The you don't Bible. believe, bro. Watch you this. don't even have Revelation book Revelation chapter 13 read and verse 10. Y'all think I didn't notice his spirit when yeah. I was standing over there? Read me some he don't believe Enoch. in the Bible. It's like you got this puzzle. Watch this. And you're saying, oh, put this puzzle together. He's that's leading into captivity. Watch this. It's saying, he that's leading into captivity. So how would you always, so how would you get a clear understanding of what's going on if you don't have all the The white man put us in slavery, right? So read it again. That's why you that leading into captivity. It's saying that he that put us in slavery, read. Now, Shall I mean, go into captivity. Wait a second. So the Bible yeah. say he that put us in slavery is going to go into slavery. So why in the world would a so-called white man put that in the Bible? Yeah. If King James is a white man, why would he say he's going into We're slavery? About the one That's that the dumbest thing about. I've ever heard. Yeah. He yeah. Yeah. again. Yeah. He that leaded yeah. into captivity. They say he that leaded into captivity. Read. Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Go into captivity. Shall what? Go into captivity. They say he shall go into captivity. So Bro, showing you this. Go this God confused. did not put the spirit what, on a white man to write this Bible. And they hey! they the they issue is this, brothers and sisters. They won't give you the book We're of trying to get back to the stuff that say we were. Black Bro, and the no only way to do it is through keeping God's commandments. Give me the book of Acts 5, verse 29. You have to prove them by their fruits. We are speaking the oracles of God. We are like out here the to, to argue. The we are trying to teach healed. life into our people. Don't right. listen to people the words of healed. God and don't be distracted, so if brothers we was and sisters. Already healed, they Read what you got. These people that, falling from Captain the first and, and verse 29. Like they they it's the most. They were at war with these other apostles. Answer this thing. I said, Lord, we are to obey God. We are to do what? 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 Obey God. We rather than men, rather than who? Men. Like I Give me the again. book of First Peter's. Don't touch your silence, bro. Hey, bro. They got guns. They got guns. First Peter chapter four, that verse eleven. That mean that they Give me First Peter chapter four, verse you know eleven. Watch that mean this. They're trying to go to war with a nation. First Peter. Come on. Chapter four and verse hey, eleven. Hey sis, you understood what came out today. I know you did. I can tell. Don't let that distract you, sis. First Peter chapter four, verse eleven. First Peter chapter four and verse eleven. Read. If wow, any man speak, man, let him speak as the oracles of God. God said when we speak, we got to speak the Bible. We're not out here to argue with our people. I we love that, brother. Rules. We're not out here to argue, but we, we got to speak the words of God. Read it again. We're not if not any man rules. speak, let him that. speak Tell as the truth. oracles of God. Give me 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, Tell verse 22. Bro, why are you so angry? Why are you so angry, bro? Because you were First Thessalonians question, chapter bro. five verse twenty two. Like we coming out here teaching the Bible, but like now that, he's bro. angry. That doesn't make any sense. 
You heard Thessalonians 5 and 22. Watch this. Just like God got angry and the white man came to be honest to his people. Yes, we are angry with our condition. Absolutely. We are angry with what happened to us. But guess what? You my sister. I got one You my sister. I got one question. You my brother. And you, my brother, on, my why question. are we going to continue to do what the white man has programmed us to do for over 400 years? Yeah. Yeah. It's time to I'm break the cycle of hatred and come back life, to bro. God's you know commandments. Yeah. 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 What you got? Man, First Thessalonians, chapter 5, and verse 22. Read. Abstain. First and verse 21. Read. Verse 21. Prove all things. Do what? Prove all things. Do what? Prove all things. Do what? Prove all things. You gotta understand. In order to true uh, to, to truly prove your statement, it's gotta be backed up with something. In order to prove your statement, it must be backed up with the Bible. Read it again. We all prove all things. Do what? Prove all things. Read. That's what we need to get away from the vision. That which is good. That's that which is what? Get away from the good. Vision. Give me the book of Titus chapter 3 verse 3. Because right a lot of us used to be like my brother right here. Shoot. I used to be like my brother right here. But guess what? God called me into something better than that. That's right. You understand? God said, you know what? Instead of arguing and hating your brother and sister, I'm going to send you out to teach them the truth according to the Bible. We are here for that. We are here to educate and uplift our people.